with a professional record, 17 wins, 5 losses from 22 contests, 7 of his wins coming inside the scheduled distance. He weighed in at 9 stone, 9 pounds, the challenger from Manchester, Wayne. First time he's ever refereed, he tells us, outside the United States. He's one of the best refs in the world, I reckon. So Michael Ayres in the all-black trunks on the right of your picture there, and Wayne Rigby in the black and white pattern trunks. The ref's dad wasn't a bad one either, and he's still going. Yeah, he's still very fit too. Ayres, 35 years of age now. And on a very good run again. Can Rigby upset him here? Rigby, who won the British lightweight title against Tanvir Ahmed. Stopped Matt Brown, but then lost to Bobby Vans. He was well beaten that night. He seems to have learned from that defeat. Good jab from him there. had to endure the loneliness of a Belfast bed sit on the build-up for the fight. There's a monastic regime over there. He left uh, the gym in London because he just felt that he was getting a little jaded. And ever since he's moved to Jerry's story, it has revitalised him. But a very good start here from Rigby, who put together those punches with great precision. Looked very, very sharp. Well, he should make a, a good fight just with the, the styles of both boxers. They're, they're going to look to, to come together to get involved in the fight. Very good accuracy from Rigby, who started the faster. Got there with a left hook as well. Airs a bit slow out of the blocks here. Well, he's experienced as He'll come on as the rounds go on, but this is probably the, the best time of the fight for Rigby where he can start fast and just unsettle airs. That's a great right uppercut from Rigby. You know the Rigby camp feel that they just might be catching airs at the right time, that he may be in decline. He hasn't looked in decline recently, but sometimes a fighter can age almost in front of you in the ring particularly when he gets to this kind of age. You just get in there one night, press the button, and nothing happens. It's a great start, this by Rigby, isn't it? It's a good, positive start. He's looked to get the centre of the ring, to put airs on the back foot, and just to try and unsettle airs from the start, and that's the best thing he can do. Again, looking for those right uppercuts on the inside left hook to the body, another right uppercut, Ayers just couldn't get to grips with it at all in that first round, it was a massive round for Rippey, who found out about this fight, he says, the day before he was due to get married, and to be honest, he said, I was more excited about the fight than the wedding, but don't tell my fiancé that, <laughs> he's just, he's just told the world, hasn't he? 
that was a good start, good strong pressure. He was the shorter of the two and getting the better punches on. Rigby's delayed honeymoon will be after this fight in Mallorca. He hopes to go there celebrating a win. Wayne Rigby in the black and white trunks from Manchester. Michael Ayres from Tooting in South London. Hit by a body shot and hurt. Rigby's on him very quickly. Big shots going through from Rigby. Ayres in trouble on those ropes. Yeah, that was a left two to the chin and a good solid one. Really good stuff this from Rigby, who looks to have improved a lot. Body shot, left hooks to the head, getting through again, and Ayres has somehow got to suck all this up and hope that the storm blows itself out. Still a bit unsteady on his legs. Ayres just needs to get his balance right, get his head together. Well, the danger for Michael Ayres is that he could be blown away here before he's even got started. Rigby looking a much improved operator. Seems to have added some extra variety. Very strong looking body shots from him. Very one-sided, surprisingly one-sided. Well, he just hasn't settled down, hasn't gotten into the fight. He's been hurt a couple of times. And his reflexes seem to have slowed so that these shots are all raining in on him. It's one of the things that happen to fighters as they grow older, the reflexes go. One of the first things to go, isn't it, Glenn? Yes, it is, and at this moment, that looks what's happening to Ayers, but often fighters like Ayers will get this stage, need time to warm up in the ring, and it looks like he's been caught a bit cold, needs to try and get himself loosened up and get into this fight. A little smirk playing around the lips of Ayers from him, and he found a good right hand. Don't write off this fellow, he's a good fighter, Michael Ayers. He might still be able to come back here. But Rigby, so far, has been electric. Well, Ayers is trying to get himself warm, but trying to get the punches off. Bit of success with the right hand from him. Just showing one or two signs Ayers of coming to life. He started on flat batteries here. Rigby having a lot of success with those right uppercuts. Ayers is beginning to come back at him though. Still Rigby's round. We thought this might be the fight of the night, and I don't think we're going to be disappointed if it goes on like this. I don't think we are. Look at that, the punches thrown from Rigby, 104. And successfully, not as good as Ayers, but he's getting through with a better one. The ones that count, the big punches that landed were from Ayers. Big left hook there, and you see the legs go. He's staggered there, stumbling to get his balance again. He's wise enough to know to cover up, but it was a, a good punch and a good fury that followed from Rigby. Terrific left hook, wasn't it? From Rigby. And he was in trouble there. The pain was written on his face there, and you wondered if he'd get through that. He did, and he came back pretty well. Yes, he did well to come back. He was badly hurt early on and staggered, but he did come back well. He got himself into the fight towards the end of that round. Here's round three, due to go 12. Ayers defending his IBO lightweight championship here. Both of them former British lightweight champions. Rigby with another great left hook. Ayers starting to make inroads with his own right hand, though. Just starting to, to, to suggest that this is no formality, no matter how well Rigby has started. Two good right hands on Rigby, one over the top and one underneath. It's a quality fight so far, this, between two of the top lightweights in the country. Remembering that Billy Schwer, Colin Dunn and Bobby Vanzi are also very much in the equation. 
wear and done, by the way, due to meet this autumn. With a decent right hand from Rigby, still finding the gap in the defensive ears. from Ayers, gritting his teeth, just trying to take the play away from Rigby. But Rigby, some solid punches to the body, and then coming back with that left hook. Michael Ayers has this fierce, burning pride about him. Still thinks he's the top lightweight in the country. And once or twice recently, he's looked it again. Rigby sustain his excellent start. Will Ayers fight back? Ayers in the solid black trunks, the black and white trunks of Wayne Rigby, the 26-year-old from Manchester, almost a decade younger. And that could be a factor in the mix here as well. Well, he's always very well prepared, Rigby. Not be wanting for fitness, but Ayers just... You know, he's got that extra experience and maybe the, the better guy in class. Oh, great right uppercut. Sweat spraying from the head of Ayers as that landed. And there's another one. It's been a honey punch tonight for Wayne Rigby. And there's a right hand, this time, round the side of the high held guard. Well, these punches have got to be starting to unsettle Ayers. He's finding it difficult to get out of the way. Not a great deal of head movement from him. Rigby's performance so far, a tribute. And not only him, but his trainer, Bob Shannon, as well. They've obviously done some really good work to prepare for this. Left hook to the body this time from Rigby. Ayers just trying to stay with it, hang in there. And he could yet turn this around. Watch the head, says Arthur McCarthy Jr. Well, Ayers is fighting the sort of fight that Rigby really wants him to fight. It's shooting Rigby. Ayers should maybe try and use his boxing skills a little bit more. 
Rick is quite happy to try to outpunch the puncher. He's won three of his last four by stoppage, Ricky. Maybe significantly. Much higher ratio than he was able to record earlier in his career, which su suggests to me he's setting himself better for his shots these days. Decent right hand from Ayers, but Rigby time and again has landed that right uppercut in this round. It's been a very good punch for him. Looks faster than Ayers. More variety as well. It's a big, big night, this. I think for Rigby in particular, huge night for him. It's the fight that can get him back in the domestic big time. There's again looking to finish the round strongly. Starting to let some fierce looking leather fly. Michael Ayers as well. Well, it's an excellent fight here. Probably that last round was the best yet for Ayers, but was it enough to win him the round, you think, Glenn? Well, I didn't think so. An even round, Rigby getting the better work early on, especially with that right uppercut. Ayers finishing well. He's just leaving it a bit too late. He needs to start getting his work going earlier. Ayers has scored 23 knockdowns in his career of 32 fights. 26 stoppage wins along the way. Whitby will have to be mindful of that Michael Ayer's power. But he's got an excellent chin himself, Whitby. Ayer's in the all-black trucks. Great right hand from him. Well, Ayer's starting this round more purposeful. Landing with some good shots. Yes, with so much experience behind him, he won a terrific fight, I remember, with Colin Dunn in nine rounds. He's beginning to ask questions of Rigby. better from Ayers now. He's warming up to the task. Rigby's won the early rounds, but you sense that the spirit of Michael Ayers is far from subdued. Much, much better round this one for Ayers. Less from Rigby. Fierce looking right hand into the rib cage from Ayers. Well, it might be naught to 60 in five rounds these days for Michael Ayers, but he's beginning to crank himself up to full pace now. Well, this is what happens to fights when they get all the sooner it's much harder to start a, fa a fight fast. But as they warm up and get into it, they get better and better. Rigby's thrown a lot of his best shots at Ayers, but Ayers is still there and still firing plenty of his own. And this is Ayers' best round to date. It's really high intensity stuff, this. Well, it is a, a tremendous fight, great class of styles here, where they're really blending together well to, to make good entertainment. There's that uppercut again from Rigby. He's finding that Ayers is still pretty strong at this weight. I know the Rigby camp might have felt that he was a little weight drained, but there's a good round for Ayers. Sunday, day two of the World Championships, coverage beginning at 2 o'clock Sunday afternoon only on Sky Sports 2. Here in Manchester we still have Michael Brody to come but this one is developing into a thriller. Back to Glenn and Ian. You can say that again Paul, yes a good night of boxing this. Now this will be the second of three championship fights we have for you tonight. 
sixth round, the black and white of Wayne Rigby, the challenger here for the IPO lightweight title that Ayres is defending for the fourth time. All his other wins for this championship have been by stoppage, including one of uh, Tony Mad Dog Miller from Australia last time. Miller stopped for only the second time in his career. That was a great result for Ayres and proves, too, that he's still strong late in fights. Oh, Rigby looking over at the corner again. Yeah, yeah. You wonder what's going through his mind when he when he's doing that. Little cut on the bridge of the nose for Rigby. Rigby's work rate just dropped off a little in that last round. Well, he's just starting to allow Ayers to push him back a bit. I don't think he's some particularly like boxing on the back foot, Rigby. Well, it's not his usual style, is it? His usual style is to come for the right hand from Ayers. Drops Rigby for the first time in his career. He was up quickly. He was very square on. Right to the head. Rigby down in round six. The tie on the turn here in this one. Well, that was a good right hand from Michael Ayers. Rigby did come back with a great right uppercut of his own. But Rigby, the latest to feel the enduring power of Michael Ayers. He's a credit to the sport as Ayers. He's been operating at top level for a long time now. And he's still doing it pretty well, as you can see. It's a great comeback in the fight, this from him. with the jab as well now growing confidence good right hand didn't travel far plenty of power from Ayers Rigby looking a little more open to that shot though and Ayers now taking over well the style of Rigby just starting to fall apart Ayers finding the gaps in the defences of Rigby more and more landing with the, the stronger punches and looking very strong isn't he Ayers very strong as if he's really from another weight division the way it is there at the moment Rippy can't make this dent in him he's landed with so many good shots he's trying to come on strong again now Wayne Rigby good work from Rigby good barrage of punches getting through but that was big round for Ayers Wayne Rigby was on the canvas for the first time in his professional career and this is 23rd fight and this is how it happened. Well, he just finds the gap. One single right hand. He led with a punch. Rigby didn't expect that. Maybe just expecting the jab. But well, Ayers just went straight for the, the right hand. Right through the middle. And put Rigby on the seat of his pants. There it is. I think he expected the jab. Rigby wasn't ready for that shot. in the story here seventh round Michael Ayers caught out by the speed and ferocity of Wayne Rigby's early attacks falling significantly behind but coming back and coming back hard but can Rigby now stage a little comeback of his own maybe he can For me, I've got a 57 all. Poor start there, but he's come back into this fight. I've still got it to Rigby by one. It's a diminishing lead, all right. It was a 10-8 round that last one. Bears with the knockdown. Blocks the left hook this time with the glove airs. Just look like that, doesn't it? Almost as if he's had a 
long time to crank himself up to full speed. Yes, well, that, that often happens to fighters as they get older. You know, it's much harder to get yourself warmed up, much harder to get started in a fight. And that was the case here with theirs. Ricky's more tentative now, but he's felt the force. got to think it's a, a tough fight this it's got to take a, a lot out of both boxes for Rigby the younger man the fresher man will he be stronger as the fight goes on Rigby with the right hand in that exchange. 
turned him round, didn't he, on those ropes as well. Suddenly turned the tables. This is one very good fight. Tribute to both of them. But is is looking more tired in this round. The big effort in the last round looks like it's taken a bit out of him. And Rippy may be sensing that, tries to pick it up. Another good counting right from Ayers. Still got the, the better boxing ability. Who can produce the stronger finish over the last four and a bit rounds? Either. 
as Rigby punched himself out for the moment. What a fight. Scorecards will have reflected the changing moods. I've got Rigby three points up now. I've got Rigby two points up. Punches landed. Let's see if we can decipher this lot. 230 landed by Ayers. 214 by Rigby. They've thrown, well, near enough the same amount. Good of a cut in close from Rigby. That's been a good punch for him all night. There's the right hand. Wayne Rigby, who likes to pin up the name of his opponent around the house to kind of G himself up, ready for the for the contest. I did a similar thing in my world title fight. It sounds a bit daft, doesn't it? But you understand the tunnel vision of men in this kind of action. Rigby has set about his work in this round like he wants to finish the argument for once and for all in round 10. This, by the way, was the round in which Bobby Vanzi stopped Rigby. Well, there's a cut on the, the nose of Rigby. He's had that for a while, I think, playing this nothing much, is it? Yeah, just a little graze for both of them, but this is showing the marks of a tremendous fight. of boxing don't work like this but these two should get a big bonus for providing action like this an antidote perhaps to some of the antics we had to put up with in Glasgow last Saturday straight into it. Well, at this stage, you just wonder who's got more left in the tank. You'd think it would be Rigby, the younger man, the fresher man, but Ayers has got a lot of character, a lot of heart. Yes, he's got enough for ten men, hasn't he? And he's got him with the left hook. He looks off balance more than anything, Rigby, but maybe the legs just beginning to tire a little. Ayers coming back at him again. This is a close round. The ball having a success as Rigby first, then Ayers. Big right hand, blood from the mouth of Rigby. Heavy looking shot seized by Ayers, who has to take another ride himself, and they've almost thrown defence out of the window. He's suddenly looking very marked up, and he scores with a big left hook. Rigby there. Goodness me, what next here? Well, neither fighter wants too many fights like this in a career. Well, they're fighting themselves almost to a standstill. And Rigby, he's starting to go here. He's looking in trouble. Big right hand. Rigby takes a very close look at Rigby, who needs the bell. He's got 20 seconds to go. He could be stopped here, Rigby. Ayers is inviting the referee to stop the fight. And he's walked to his corner. It's over. He has nothing left. Wayne Rigby and Michael Ayers there in a compassionate act in the middle of a heated battle like that stood off and let him walk to the corner to retire. What an extraordinary ending to an amazing fight of very high quality between two men who gave it everything. But the bottom line after all of that is that Michael Ayers has won it in round 10 having survived a huge crisis only two rounds previously. What a fight, Glenn. It was a tremendous fight, and what a change from the, the terrible antics of Mike Tyson. Here you've got Michael Ayers, knows his opponent's out, knows his opponent is swimming, knows he's hurt, and just backs off. He could have finished it there, he could have hurt him there. He decided, so compassionate, not to do that. That's a mark of a man. I thought that was brilliant. I mean, the referee, who previously we thought he might have stepped in to stop the fight and here he wouldn't step in and he was all out here Rigby he, he wanted no further part of it, he'd had enough 
His eyes were gone, they were swimming in his head. He knew there was nothing left in him. He just wanted the sanctuary of his own corner. And you have so much credit to Michael Ayers for knowing that. That was you know, a, a great thing from him. And please don't let anybody write that Wayne Rigby quit there. Oh my that word. would be a terrible thing to write. He just had given it every possible ounce he could give it, Rigby, and he knew there was nothing left and walked back to his corner to retire himself. He, I don't there, think I've ever seen that before. There, there was, I, I think, to be honest, he was hurt. He, there was no fight left in him. He was dazed. You know, and I think all he could see was the corner and the sanctuary of the corner and he just wanted to get there. Yeah. And, and Michael Ayers knew that, realised that and just allowed him yeah. to walk away. And for, for me, both of them should get all the credit in the world. It was a great fight. Our gentlemen, please, after two minutes, 49 seconds of round 10, ladies and gentlemen, the winner by TKO and still the IBO lightweight champion of the world, Michael Ayers! Have we seen better in Britain this year? Spencer Oliver. An amazing contest, you know, both boys giving it their all. Credit, as Ian and, and Glenn already pointed out, credit to Michael Ayers, you know, for just backing off, telling the referee the kid had had enough. Rigby clearly had enough. It was a tremendous ending to a tremendous fight. What won it for Ayers? What was the difference? i tell you what won it for Ayers was the sheer grit and determination and the will to want to win. You know, in round six, he got floored badly in round six. Had there been another 20 seconds left in the round, the fight would have been over. We're just seeing boxing in all its best colours here tonight. This fantastic level of sportsmanship. And Wayne Rigby in defeat here can actually take great credit out of this, can't he? Without a doubt, you know, I said to you before the fight, that's exactly how I read it, that Michael Ayers is a slow starter. He'd start off slow, and then, you know, and then he'd get into the fight and take over in the later rounds. It's exactly what happened. But both boys really did give it their all. You know, Rigby as well, he played, his, he played a massive part in an excellent contest. Right, stay with us. We still have our top of the bill to come tonight. Michael Brody, the European Super Bantamweight title defence. He's backstage getting ready to go. Quality fighter, but he'll have to be at his best to match what we've just seen. That's next, against Mustafa Ham from France. Back at ringside to Ian. Well, fellas, boxing takes a lot of knocks, but I want to pay tribute to both of you for providing a fantastic fight there. Just give us your take on it, first of all, Michael. Well, look, he's got two warriors there. I'm a warrior, Wayne Rigsby. Big respect to Wayne Rigsby before the fight, prior to the fight. But after a fight like this is when you really respect somebody. I felt his heart in there, I felt his soul. We went down, we dug down. He wanted it, I needed it. I hold on to it. I thank God. There wasn't a lot more in it apart from God, really. It looked like there were points in that contest where both of you were on the very verge of defeat. Just talk us through the ending there, because you kind of retired yourself, it seemed to us. Yeah, he's just there, you know, he pretty proved a good champion. That's what I have. I've got loads of respect for Michael Ayers. I mean, I've, I've watched him for many years. I took the chance there, you know, it's a learning fight like Matt McGowan said against me, you know. It's a learning experience. You know, I'm still 26, you know, I'm not, I'm not written off yet. No. Come back. I mean, and uh, one day I'll take Michael Ayers place. Here comes uh, the final moments, I think, of the fight. Now, you, you're pretty marked up here, and, and yeah. the referee didn't stop it. You kind of walked away, and you there just knew that he was in trouble and didn't hit him anymore. Well, this was similar to the fight I had with, with Mad Dog Miller. I mean, the thing is, two fighters, I mean, the referee, full respect to this referee, the class referee, but two guys can tell when, when it's... When, when, you, when you're so close in there with each other and you, your, your heart and soul's on there, you can tell there's a point where you can tell. And I didn't want to hurt this man anymore. Yeah, I, I, think I think that was terrific. I think that was I mean, it just I caught the spirit of the whole the fight. And let nobody say that you quit because you bared your soul in The boxing news, they was no. like trying to write me off saying, no, I was thinking we got a chance against Michael Ayers. But right. no, I proved it tonight. No, I gave him a good fight. I did. I gave him an half fight. Did, but at the end of the day, he proved... No, I was in good shape, mate. Yeah. He me a good fight. He proved he was a good champion. Tell you what, credit to both of you. Well done and thank you. Thank you. Thank you.